Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how can we do property transfer or we can also call it as values transfer in SOAP UI. So this is going to be very easy, very interesting and this is something very useful and we are basically going to transfer a value from the response of one API to the request of another API. So let us see how to do that and I am going to open my SOAP UI now. And here I have my SOAP UI open and here you can see these are the projects that we have created in the earlier session and here we are going to use our SOAP project which is for country information and here we have multiple APIs for getting the information about countries like the capital of the country, the currency and so on. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me see this API which is for capital city and let me also take a API for currency ISO code okay and just in case if you have not followed the earlier sessions and you want to know how exactly I have got this project let me very quickly tell you I have taken this visual which is country info service visual if you search here on Google you will get this link and yes, what you can do is you can just copy this visual URL, go to your SOAP UI, click on a SOAP project, add this visual here and then click OK and you will get this entire project. So what we have done is we have created this SOAP project and created test suites here in the earlier sessions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this country ISO code API and I will create a new test case and add this there. So I'll go to the test suite, do a right click and select new test case here. And I will say this is property transfer demo and say OK. So you can see I have got this test case property transfer demo which is empty so I will add the API calls here so I will add this one so you can do a right click and say clone test step and the shortcut is F9 I will say clone test step you can give any name and the destination or the target test case is property transfer demo and ok and you can see this has come here and again I will uh, copy this capital city API again right click clone test step name it as same capital city and the target test case is property transfer demo and say ok let me minimize others and just keep this property transfer demo test case here so now we have created a new test case by the name property transfer demo and we have added two APIs country ISO code and capital city. So the target here is what we want to do is we want to run this country ISO code API. So let me just open this close everything else. So we want to run this country ISO code API and we want to take the country code which is coming in the response so we want to fetch this country code and then provide this country code in the request of this particular API here okay so we want to provide this here at runtime so to do this we have to use our property transfer step so if you right click inside your test case you can go to insert step and then there is a option for property transfer so I will click here and you can name it anything as of now I will keep it by default property transfer and you can see this has come here so this is the property transfer step and this is the window for property transfer so now we have to add a new property transfer so you click on this 
plus icon here and you can name it so I will name it as country code because I want to get the country code and transfer the country code I will say ok so the upper section is for the source from where you will fetch the value and the lower section is for target so where you will transfer the value so here we have to get the country code from this country ISO code which is already selected so this is already selected here and now you have to select the property like from which particular property you want to fetch the value so of course you want to get it from the response so I will select response here and then you can select whether you want to extract through xpath, xquery, json path I will select xpath and the target is capital city you can see this is the target API so I will select capital city here and the property where I have to transfer is request because I have to transfer it to the request here okay and again I will keep it as xpath and now here you can see this namespace icon just click here namespace and it will generate some text here so now what we have to do is we have to go to our source API now here the value which is this one is inside this particular parameter or XML tag so I will just copy it from here and give it in the property transfer like this I will say double forward slash and just give the parameter name here similarly for the target again I will go to the capital city and here in the request I will just copy this and in the property transfer I will say double forward slash and I will give this now to test you can also run this by this run button and let me run this and in the logs we have got some exception okay so it is saying here there is some problem in this uh, web as country ISO code so what you can do is this is actually an xpath so you can use a regex as well here so I will say star so I will say I do not care whatever comes here just I want to fetch this country ISO code let me run it again and check uh, there is still some error or let me make this as well as star here and yes okay so now this is working fine so what I have done I have just these namespaces I have given star a regular expression and now this is working fine so we are getting the country code in here so now this should work fine so here now whatever I give for example I have given India here so it should fetch the value in from the response and give it to the request here and then run this so for example I will just keep it as empty here and I will go to the test case and I will just run the test case and you can see if I go to the capital city it has given the capital of India which is New Delhi and similarly if I change it here let's say I say this is Taiwan and I go to the test case and just run it and if I go to the capital city you can see it has transferred TW which is the ISO code and it has given the capital of Taiwan now of course we have also learned that this value as well we can fetch from other properties so for example if I want to get this from a test case property for example this is a test case I will go to properties I will click on plus and I will create a property called country name and here I will give the country name as United States and here in the country ISO code I want to refer it from the test case properties so I can say here dollar and inside curly braces I will say hash test case and hash the name of the property which is country name okay 
and now I will go to the test case and just run this and let me go to capital city and you can see it has taken here it has taken the country name from the properties of the test case which is this one United States and it has given the result as the code of United States which is US and then using the property transfer it has transferred it to the capital city here and we have got the capital of US which is Washington so this is how easy it can be and this is how you can use property transfer in SOAP UI this is going to be very useful this is something you will use very frequently in your SOAP UI projects I hope this session was very useful for you. I will meet you in the next episode of Soap UI. Thanks for watching.